I'm trying to arrange some plants inside one of these planters from the from my friends over at the aquarium co-op. The easy planter. Kind of cool. I'm gonna try and get some Anubias to stay in there uh, and and hold it down with some of this hornwort. And uh, this tank is my planted 55 gallon and it has a uh, it has some crypts, it has a lot of hornwort, and it even has a little bit of, uh, of jungle val in there that's finally starting to catch. So, uh, it, but it's a work in progress. You know, if you have a planted tank, you know you're always having to trim and do stuff. So at any rate, uh, what, what does uh, Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz and uh, Count Dracula have to do with with a uh, holiday depression and fish keeping so uh i'll get to that <laughs> so you know it, it it it's awesome that that so many folks contact me and uh and tell me how much the channel has helped them with things like uh feeling down and depression and how fish keeping in general has really really helped them to deal with, with things like uh, PTSD and just, just general feelings of feeling down, that kind of thing, how the hobby has really been uh, a real important way for them to deal with that. It's just, I always love when people contact me and let me know that anything that they might have heard on the channel might uh, have helped them with that. And, and I know, he, uh, during the holidays, there's a, a, a lot of this because for a variety of reasons, I think it can be very stressful. You know, it's the end of the year. You know, we're, we're being reminded of uh, times when other people might have been here for the holidays that are not here now for a variety of reasons. They've moved away, they've passed away, whatever. So it can be a little bit, you know, a, a, a little down that way. And also, uh, you know, we put ourselves, a lot of folks will, will put themselves in a lot of stress during the holidays. What's that old saying about uh, buy, buy, buying things I can't afford with money I don't have for people I don't like? Uh, so <laughs> I'm not saying you're doing that, but <laughs> it, does, it does happen, unfortunately. Where do Dorothy and Count Dracula come in? Well, uh, I, I think that sometimes in some of these iconic movies there's messages and and with uh in the case of dorothy she had the answer uh with her the whole time right all she had to do was tap those slippers together and she could have gone back to kansas so <laughs> i think a lot of us a lot of us have the answer uh and just don't know it you know uh, i'll give you an example very often I'll, I'll 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 talk to somebody who is not feeling right or you know has written to me about something and and you you find out that they have somebody in their life that is making them miserable maybe they're being ragged on all the time about their youtube channel or about their aquarium or about wanting to to get another tank or they want to pursue the hobby and they can't or something going on uh, maybe they have a boss that that's just a, a jerk or or a or even worse, they have somebody who's pretending to be a friend and all they're doing is making them feel uh, insecure or bad or introverted. And that's where Count Dracula comes in. Because in the legend of Count Dracula, he can't, he can't come into your house unless you invite him in. So, so sometimes we have to stop for a second, look around and go, okay, do I have somebody who's sucking the life out of me by constantly pointing out what's wrong with me and constantly finding fault in everything I do and giving me these strange compliments like, you know, you're really, you're really a good guy, but, but there's this one thing about you that I wish you'd change. And, and you know, those people that when you walk away from the conversation, you're feeling like not right, like kind of slimy, you know? <laughs> like watching politicians on TV. <laughs> and when, you're, when you're done watching them, you want to go take a shower, you know. So at any rate, if, if during the holidays, if during these holidays you're feeling a little bit down, uh, immerse yourself in the hobby, 
Uh, it, it really is therapeutic. Uh, it's not, it, it, it's, it's act, there's actually science behind it, right? Working on these tanks, watching the fish, it does, it does uh, uh, lower your heart rate, your, your blood pressure, and uh, you know, help your immune system, all that good stuff. And, uh, and ask yourself, have, uh, have I invited any vampires into my house that are uh, sucking some of the life out of me. And if you have, take steps to get them out of your house. Tap those, tap those uh, slippers together and get back to Kansas where you're happy. And <clears throat> anyway, just a little Christmas message, because I know some of you out there are, are, are feeling a little down during the holidays. And I get it, I get it. You know, just really make sure there's no one around like that and, 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 and really do the things that you enjoy, like fish keeping and immerse yourself in it. And whether it's fish keeping or, or, or another extreme, fishing, um, you know, hiking, get out, get fresh air. And uh, another bit of advice I'll, you know, I'll give you, this is not a health channel, this is a, a fish keeping channel, but we take really good care of our fish. We watch what we feed them. We make sure the air is clean, the, you know, they're, they're, they're getting oxygen, that, they're, that their tanks are in good shape. But very often we don't take care of ourselves. We don't get enough sleep, we don't eat right, we just don't take care of ourselves. And so uh, move around, get outside, get some fresh air if you can, and, and, and eat better, cut out sugar as much as you can, especially during the holidays, get lots of sleep, and uh, those are the best tips I can give you. And, and don't, don't let Dracula in your house. <laughs> All right, thank you my friends, and have a wonderful, have a wonderful holiday. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Let's see if the Anubia stays in there because I didn't use any glue or anything like that to hold it in. I'm just, just caught a couple of the roots in the bottom. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see if it works. By the way, if you like the content of the channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, hit, hit that thumbs up, and uh, check, out, check out these videos if, you, if you'd like to check out some of my best aquarium care tips and and be sure to punch me in the mug here if you'd like to subscribe